What's up, Big John Hello. Steel? How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. I, I enjoyed the conversation you had with Mansu. I appreciate the kind tone and kind demeanor that you had there. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was being a little, little uh, firm, but thank you. Oh no, no. I think that was gentle. Maybe now you'll be firm with me. I don't know. We, we, we'll find out together. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully we can just have fun. That, that's that's the goal, right? Hope, well, I hope to learn and benefit with each other, God willing. Yep. A amen. Amen. What's up, so bro? What do you want to talk I, about? I just want to uh, be clear on your beliefs. You are a Trinitarian. You seem evangelical. You're not, you're not Catholic or Eastern Orthodox or Oriental Orthodox. None of those things, right? Uh, yeah, I don't really throw myself in too much of a box of what it's called. Uh, not mm -hmm. for any particular reason, but because I'm I'm a baby Christian and I'm still figuring it out. Uh, so mm -hmm. yeah, I'm a Trinitarian um, and I'm non-denominational at this point. Okay, if you don't mind me asking, how long now have you been Christian? A year. Oh yeah, Just okay. You're definitely a, a baby be, Christian then. Definitely. It'll be a year in hold on. In three weeks, it'll be a year in three weeks. Okay, well, hopefully in three weeks we'll be celebrating you taking the shahada, inshallah. Okay. <laughs> in three weeks, we're going to be celebrating your baptism. All right, let's go. Yeah, so I, I just do want to find out here. You insisted earlier to Brother Mansu that, you know, God is three persons. You know, biblically, yes. it does not use the term prosopon ontologically for the God of the Bible. You know that this comes from the church fathers. Are you sort of scriptural or do what? you agree with the church fathers? It doesn't use what? The New Testament does not use the word prosopon, the word for person in Greek, in an ontological way to refer to a category of being, for example. This primarily comes from the language of the church fathers. So I was just wondering, are you sola scriptura or are you like a Christian that mixes tradition and scripture together? Bro, I just, I just learn as I go. Do you understand where these terms come from or do you hold yeah. more weight to the Bible itself? I understand, I understand the terms, but just let, let's jump to the point. Like, what, what are we trying to figure yeah, the, out? The point is that I don't believe you can be consistent as a Christian and hold to the Bible and at the same time hold to Greco-Roman philosophy uh, to defend your faith. I think that this would be called syncretism. So all my knowledge of scripture comes from scripture. Okay, well then why do you call God three persons when this is not scriptural? Because it's very scriptural. As you read throughout the Bible, you can definitely see three persons operating as God. And what do you define as persons? I, as three distinct individuals. No, I okay. I'm not going to use the word individual. Three distinct mm -hmm. forms, I guess. Well, the New Testament never uses the word morphe or form to refer to three distinct persons in the New Testament. This is not biblical it language. Doesn't. It doesn't use the word Trinity. It also doesn't say it Bible. Doesn't have to. Uh, there's lots of, there's it lots of things in that, it says that, that is in real life. It also doesn't mention dolphins. It doesn't mention uh, 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 specific types of trees. Like, like we can't say because it's not in there, it doesn't exist. But just to be clear, that was not my argument. But you did make the claim that the language you were using was biblical. Now you're saying it doesn't have to be biblical, and I find no, that that's to be not what I said. I didn't say no, no. You're you're taking you're changing my words. I didn't say that the language I was using is biblical. I said my mm -hmm. understanding of the language I am using comes from the Bible. Okay, so your understanding of the language is that the New Testament doesn't have to use the word morphe or prosopon to refer to the categories of being, but you're allowed to impose that on the text because. Because as when I read the text, I three I see three distinct persons operating as one God. Okay, and what do you understand as a person? And where does this definition Again. of person come from? What what are you getting? What's the point you're trying to get to, bro? So I already made the point earlier is that you have to depend on what Greco Roman philosophers call the categories of being to understand who the God of the New Testament is. And this is fundamentally why the Jews en masse rejected early Christianity because they considered this to be pagan Again, philosophy. All my knowledge comes from scripture. I didn't learn it from a church. I didn't learn and, it from and a that, preacher. That's why I didn't I'm learn asking. It from culture. If, it you learned, from if you learned it from scripture, where is the term person used or defined in scripture in any it's sense? It's not. It's not. So then how can it come from scripture and not come from scripture at the same time? Bro, your 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 argument is not it. 
uh, what you're saying, what you're trying to Im impose is not going to work because my understanding is seeing three persons. So for example, I see God speaking to Jesus on Mount Sinai, right? Mm -hmm. I see them talking to each other. So I see mm -hmm. two individuals, mm -hmm. two distinct persons talking to each other. But I also see mm -hmm. both of them claiming to be the oneness of God throughout scripture as well. This is where I talk mm -hmm. about when I say person. So just because I use the word persons and the Bible doesn't use the word person, doesn't mean it wasn't persons. So yeah, we can use the term individuals or persons, but you can't define this biblically because this is a concept, like I said, that comes from Greco-Roman philosophers. The point is, if you were to use biblical language, you would use the term usia, you know, for substance or nature, perhaps. But you don't use this term because it's not what's repeated in church. And this is the problem. If you as a Christian can't defend your beliefs biblically, then I find this to be problematic, right? So you have to say individual no, no, persons. Stop, stop, no, stop, stop. No, brother, please, I, I didn't, not I didn't interrupt I'm not you. doing this argument. No, stop. Do, I'm not doing this argument where you're imposing different beliefs onto me and saying this is the claim and I can't. Talk to me as me from my own understanding from what I've learned I am. from what I've done. Not what from Greek and Roman understanding has. You haven't asked me if I've learned from Greek and Roman understandings. But brother, I, I did ask you and you kept using the word person and saying that you saw individual persons. So I asked you and to this define is person where I got from the my Bible understanding. But because my understanding lines up with the uh, with the church fathers, you're implying <laughs> I learned from them. But just to be clear, no, your understanding does not line up with the church fathers because the church fathers like Justin Martyr said that Christ Jesus was another God. You apparently believe in singular only one. He believes in another one guy. Well, I can go to origin. He says that the New Testament Gospels were made up. I mean, I can go to many other church fathers that say contradictory things to what you believe in. The vast majority of church fathers believed this doctrine that I am claiming. Uh, I would actually disagree with that. The church fathers believed in the Enagaya. Do you believe in the Enagaya? What is the Enagaya? The operations of the church, meaning that tradition of the church fathers so holds sovereignty over the writings of scripture. I don't know enough about that to make the claim. Exactly. So please don't make claims about the church fathers that you can't qualify, right? We have to be respectful no, towards I can them. I can make that claim that, that most of the church fathers believed in the Trinitarian view. Most of the church fathers were actually subordinationists, hence why you had the council on 381 CE on the Theodosius. But we can come to that. I mean, like you said, you're a baby Christian. So I'll make it even easier for you then. We both know that prosopon or person can't be defined scripturally, that you had to use the word no, individual. we don't both know that. Stop. We don't both know that. I can absolutely get a definition of persons by looking at the Bible, but because the Bible doesn't Please say do. the word person doesn't mean it doesn't exist. No, you said you can get a definition of person from scripture. So please give the definition of person in scripture for me. I'm looking at these persons. When I see when I see John the Baptist, that is a person. When I see Jesus operating as himself, that is a person. When I see God operating himself, that is the personhood. This is just to define the personhood of their own self -awareness. Can you do that from scripture, please? Are you telling me Jesus wasn't self-aware? Can you define it from scripture? Don't beg the question. Where to God? You said you can define it scripturally. I say, okay. I ask where you say, well, can you define it in return? But the question is not where I can define it. You said you can define it scripturally. See, the thing is, you can't actually explain what you have to say, so you have to be silent. But you see, okay, I don't so make claims about the Bible. Hold on. I guess to I'll, uh, I'll uh, be self-aware. We're not talking about Allah. That's called a red no, herring no. and if, shifting if the goalposts. If Allah is self-aware, can you explain to me in the Quran? We can discuss Islam afterwards. I mean, you said no, you can, can, can you the explain it. If you can't from explain the it, if you can't explain it, you need to retract your statement. No, this is called shifting the goalposts. You had a question to no. answer, and it wasn't can about you Islam. Explain in the Quran, where I can Allah tell is you're uneasy. I can tell that you're yes, uneasy. Yes, bro, because I don't like but this you argument. you need to calm down. I know you don't like the argument. That's why it's bothering you. It's creeping into your because faith. It's a brother. ridiculous argument. I, oh, brother, can you not... explain in the Quran where Allah is self-aware? If so you can... cannot, move on to your next point. Okay, so you're saying that you can't defend your statement that you can define can you personhood from the not? Bible. If not, move on to your next point. 
Brother, no need to be nervous. Can you define it from the Bible or not? You made that claim, not me. No need to be nervous. Can you define it from... So that was a pretty abrupt end to the conversation. He clearly got frustrated. But one of the things Christians have to understand is they can't claim that their beliefs when they explain the Trinity, that these terms and the terminology used to express understanding of the Trinity is strictly biblical. I asked him multiple times for clarity. Do you really think that these terms and these ideas can be found biblically? Can they be defined biblically? And his answer repeatedly was yes. And I simply asked him, okay, show me where. And then he got frustrated. So the thing is, I'm not asking questions to frustrate people. But this was a simple claim that he made that he couldn't back up. And yeah, it's a rude end to the conversation by him. But in this way, we understand and we know that you know many Christian preachers may claim things and it's their responsibility to have awareness of what they teach, regardless of how learned they may be or not be. You know, we suggest that people don't speak about things that they have no knowledge on. But when someone is public and they have a significant TikTok following and they make claims against Islam at the cost of the, you know, explaining their own beliefs, then they should be rightly challenged to validate what they do believe. And here we see a simple question, show me where these terms are defined, even if remotely so. And what was his response? To end the conversation because he could not do so.